This is just another case where we need to substitute in new values for these two quantities, money from all original orders and money from canceled orders, into this expression using these other two equations. As we learned about substitution very early on in the course, if we have a system of equations that we know is allowed to work together, and one quantity in one of the equations is equal to another quantity in another one of the equations, we can replace that quantity with the other way to express it. So in the case of these equations, that means we can replace money from all original orders right here with this expression, 87w plus 72n, since this equation tells us that that is equal to the money from all the original orders. We can do the same thing with the money from the canceled orders, or the amount of money that Grant would have gotten if these orders hadn't been canceled. So we'll replace money from canceled orders with 3w plus 12n. So this is what the equation looks like if we just replace that word, money from canceled orders, with the mathematical expression we knew that it's equal to. But we need to do one thing to change this equation. We need to add parentheses around 3w plus 12n. Now the reason we need to do that is because we know that we want to subtract the entire amount of money that Grant would have earned from the orders that are now canceled. So to show that this is one quantity, one sum of money, the money he would have earned from the wipers and the money he would have earned from the nozzles, we put parentheses around it. 